Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Today we'll be looking at how to find the LCM and HCF of a set of two numbers. So let's get to it. Have you ever seen questions like this where you're asked to find the LCM of two numbers? For example, 6 and 7. How do you do that? Before we find that, we first need to break down what LCM means. LCM stands for Lowest Common Multiple. Now let's further break down what that means, because it sounds complicated, but it's really not. So multiple means any number that appears in the times table of the given number. So for instance, we're given the numbers in the question as 6 and 7. So the multiples of 6 are all the numbers that appear in the times table for 6. So the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. And the multiples of 7 are all the numbers that appear in the times table for 7. And the multiples of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42 and so on. So those are the multiples of 6 and 7. Lowest means the smallest and common means the same. So lowest common multiple effectively means what is the smallest number appearing in the times tables for the given numbers that is the same? Or what is the first number appearing in the times tables that is the same? And if we look carefully in both lists, we can see that 42 appears in the times table for 6 and 7. And therefore, the LCM of 6 and 7 equals 42. And that's how easy it is. Let's take a look at another example. Say you wanted to find the LCM of 5 and 9 right so what you do is you list all the multiples of 5 which effectively is the times table for 5 then you list all the multiples of 9 or the times table for 9 and you find the first number that appears in both of the lists and in this case 45 is the first number that appears in both lists and therefore the LCM of 5 and 9 is 45 Let's take a look at another example. What is the LCM of 8 and 12? So what you do is you list the times table for 8 and you list the times table for 12 and then you find the first number that appears in both of the lists. You find the first multiple that appears in both lists. In this case, 24 appears in both lists and therefore the LCM or the lowest common multiple for 8 and 12 is 24. Notice also that 48 also appears in both lists but that is not the lowest, that is not the smallest so we don't regard that. Also note here that 8 and 12 are connected as they are both even numbers and they both appear in the 4 times table. But when numbers clearly have no correlation or connection, for example two different prime numbers, then to find the LCM of those numbers you simply multiply them. So for instance if you wanted to find the LCM of 3 and 11, both are prime numbers because they can't be broken down into any other number. They cannot be divided by any other number except for themselves and 1. So if we list all the multiples of 3 and we list all the multiples of 11 we can see that the first number the smallest number that is common to both lists is 33 but also notice that 3 times 11 is 33 as well so just realize that when the numbers don't have any correlation and they're completely different to find the LCM we can just simply multiply them this doesn't work for numbers that do have a correlation or connection for example 2 and 4 2 multiplied by 4 is 8 but the LCM of 2 and 4 is 4 and not 8 so just bear this in mind Let's now take a look at HCF. So sometimes you're asked to find the HCF of two or more numbers, for example, 36 and 54. But what does HCF actually mean? HCF means the highest common factor. So let's break this down what this means. A factor is any number that you can use, any number that you can multiply by to give you the original number. So for example, the factors of 36, what numbers multiply to give you 36? So we can always start with 1 and 36 itself. 1 times 36 is 36. And then let's go up the scale. We started from 1, so let's look at 2. What do we multiply by 2 to give us 36? And we find that 2 times 18 is 36. So the partner for 2 is 18. Let's go up the scale again. Does 3 go into 36? Or can 36 be divided? divided by 3 and it can in this case so the partner for 3 is 12 because 12 times 3 is 36 then we check can 4 go into 36 so if we divide 36 by 4 we get 9 so 4 times 9 equals 36 so the partner for 4 is 9 can 5 go into 36 no it can't that cannot be divided exactly into it so we skip that one and we check with 6 can 6 go into 36 yes 6 times 6 equals 36 can 7 go into 36 no and we start there because there are normal numbers that go into 36 so we found all the factors for 36 similarly we find all the factors for 54 so we do 1 and 54 those are the first two factors and then 
and we go up the list so 2 goes into 54 and we half the last number 54 so it's the half 54 is 27 because 2 times 27 equals 54 does 3 go into 54? Yes it does. So we find that out by dividing 54 by 3. 54 divided by 3 is 18. So 3 times 18 is 54. Does 4 go into 54? No it doesn't because 54 cannot be divided exactly by 4. Similarly 54 cannot be divided exactly by 5. And 6 go into 54. Well 54 divided by 6 is 9 because 6 times 9 equals 54. And that's the highest we can go up to. So these are all the factors of 36 and 54. Now we want to find the highest number or the biggest number that's common or the same in both of these lists. Now already we can see that there are quite a few numbers that are in common because we have 1, 2, 3, 6 and 9 all in common with each other but these are not the highest. We want the highest number that's common or the biggest number that's common in both lists. They're not the biggest. The biggest number that's common to both lists is 18. That appears in both lists and it's the biggest one that appears in both of the lists. So the HCF for the highest common factor of 36 and 54 is 18. Let's take a look at another example. Say we wanted to find the highest common factor of the numbers 42 and 63. So what we do first is we list all the factors of 42 and I use what I call the rainbow method. So I start with 1 and 42 itself. So 1 and its partner 42 and I check with 2. Can 2 go into 42? Yes it can. It can go into 42 21 times because 2 times 21 equals 42. Can 3 go into 42? Yes it can. What you can also do is you can divide 42 by 3 to give you 14 because 3 times 14 equals 42. So 14 becomes a partner for 3. Then you check with 4. Can 4 go into 42? Not exactly because 42 divided by 4 gives you a decimal answer and you don't want that. So you ignore that. The same applies to 5. Then you check with 6. Can 6 go into 42? Yes it can because 6 times 7 equals 42. And that's where the list ends. You cannot find any more factors. Then you do the same for 63. So you have 1 and its partner 63. And then you check can 2 go into 63? Not exactly because 63 divided by 2 gives us the decimal answer. So we ignore 2. Then we check with 3. Can 3 go into 63? Yes it can because 63 divided by 3 equals 21 so the partner for 3 is 21 can 4 go into 63 not exactly same with 5 and the same with 6 can 7 go into 63 yes it can 63 divided by 7 equals 9 so the partner for 7 is 9 and that's all the factor list for 63 now we check to see which number is common in both of these lists which is the biggest number that's common because we can see that 1 3 and 7 appear in both lists. Those are all common but they're not the biggest. The biggest number that's common that appear in both of these lists is 21. So therefore the HCF or the highest common factor of 42 and 63 is 21. Let's take a look at one more example. What is the highest common factor of 36 and 84? So what you do first is you list all the factors of 36. So you have 1 and 36 itself. Then you go up the number line. So can 2 go into 36? Yes, it can. 36 divided by 2 is 18. And then you go further up the number line. Can 3 go into 36? Yes, it can. 36 divided by 3 is 12. Can 4 go into 36? Yes, it can. 36 divided by 4 is 9. Can 5 go into 36? Not exactly, so ignore that. Can 6 go into 36? Yes, it can. 6 times 6 is 36. Or well, 36 divided by 6 gives us 6. So these are all the partners or this is the factor list for 36. Similarly, we do the same for 84. So we have 1 and 84 and we have 2 and 42. So remember to get the partners, I'm dividing 84 by each number that I'm writing down. So can 3 go into 84? Yes, it can because 84 divided by 3 is 28. Can 4 go into 84? Yes, it can because 84 divided by 4 is 21. Can 5 go into 84? Not exactly. Can 6 go into 84? Yes, it can because 84 divided by 6 is 14. Can 7 go into 84? Yes, it can because 84 divided by 7 is 12. And that's the end of the fact list for 84. There's no other numbers can go into 84 now. 8 doesn't go into 84 exactly and neither does 9. So we ignore those. Finally, we just look at both our lists and find the biggest number that's common so we ignore the smaller numbers that we know that are common anyway and we look for the biggest number that appears in both lists we can see that 12 is the biggest number that appears in both lists and therefore the highest common factor of 36 and 84 is 12 and that's all there is to it have a go yourself and see if you can find the lcm and hcf of any numbers that you can choose let me know how well you did in the comments below if you found this tutorial helpful then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this may benefit and do subscribe and click the bell for all the latest tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques as well as the latest releases that will be coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.